I'll be showing 11 new features in Microsoft Word. This includes Desktop 365, Word for the Web, and iPad. So let's get started. The first new feature is in Word Desktop, and this is a long request, which is a shortcut to paste as text. I'm gonna scroll down here in a Word document for a new place to paste. Now I'm gonna to go to a website and get some text. I'm here on a Wikipedia website and I'm gonna select a bunch of text. It's got different formatting and hyperlinks, etc. And I'm gonna do Control C to copy. Now we'll switch back to Word Desktop. Now normally if I do Control V, it's gonna paste it with all the formatting and the links and everything else. I'll hit undo. The new shortcut is Control Shift V and now it just pastes text. So that's really handy if you just wanna strip out all the formatting automatically, Control Shift V will paste all that text without formatting. The second new feature is catch up in Word Desktop. This is something that lets you catch up on all the activity in your document. This is rolled out to insiders and rolling out broadly very soon. So I've got a document here and I wanna catch up and see what's been happening. In the upper right, there's this button, catch up. Now I click this and I can see, oh, these different things have been happening. Ashley mentioned me, Mike Tholfson, that's me, and my own document mentioned me, and assigned tasks. So if I wanna open up show comments here, I can see exactly what's been going on, and the little blue dot indicates, hey, this is a new comment, I wanna get caught up on that. So it's really easy to see what happened in the document when you were gone, and it's always right there to click, and when new things appear, these will show up right in the catch up area. The third new feature is built-in accessibility checking. I've updated my document with this really nice and subtle light gray and also a very nice light peachy color. Some people like to experiment with fonts, but they're not always readable by people who might have vision impairments or other accessibility challenges. What's nice is now we automatically surface this little accessibility icon. Review accessibility issue. If I click this, it says, oh, this is hard to read color. For some folks, you might wanna try a different one. So maybe I try this one. It immediately fixes it and that little icon goes away. For my nice light peach, again, I'll click this. Hey, this one is more accessible. Now it is a little bit darker and you know your document is now easier to read. So it'll automatically flag that little human icon next to it. And right down at the bottom, there's an accessibility investigate. If you wanna drill in even more, the accessibility assistant is over on the right-hand side. This is available for insiders and rolling out broadly very soon. The fourth new feature is in Word for the web and it is support for loop components, which are real-time collaborative components that can be in places like Word, Teams, Outlook, soon to be OneNote, and other places. I'll go to the insert menu here and there's this loop component options. Now I'm gonna go and insert a task list right here. So let's go task list. It immediately starts to add this loop component task list. And what's nice is this is a real time shared component that can be sent and embedded in many other places. It can also show up in the loop app itself. So let's give it a title. I can start adding task names and assign, give it a due date, and we'll quickly fill out a couple other things. Now what's nice is, as I'm in here, I can see other people are starting to add tasks collaboratively, Mike and Ashley. Now it looks like there are some other people typing in my task list. Oh, there's Ashley, she's adding things. I can collaboratively add all my task list up and this is in this loop component. Now I can share and copy this and put it elsewhere. So I'll say copy component, I can go into Outlook and embed this as well. Here I am in Outlook and I'll just paste and there is that same loop component. It's real time embedded in this email and you can see people are still updating it in real time because it's collaborative. Back in Word, if I wanna open up the actual loop page in the browser, I click here, and here is that same task list inside of loop in a page. So what's nice is anywhere I'm at, I can collaboratively use these loop components. The fifth new feature are a set of paragraph options in Word for the web. So I have a document right here, and I have a paragraph that splits across the page. I'm gonna just right click in this paragraph area and choose paragraph options. It's also available in the ribbon up there. So paragraph options, and in this case, I'm gonna say keep lines together. I wanna to keep these lines together. When I select this, everything moves down so it's not split across the page. We'll undo. Other options include paragraph options. I'm gonna say keep with next. So it's gonna keep it with the next page, sort of similar to what you just had. So that will move it down. The sixth new feature is link preview in Word for the web. I've got a nice blog link I wanna put right here. So I'm gonna select this text, go to the insert menu, drop down link and choose insert link. I'm gonna paste the address to my link and hit insert. Now this is a link. Now normally I would click this and it would immediately navigate me away to the dock before I could even see what it was. Now if I just click on the link and I hover, it'll show me a nice little card here. Oh, this is a blog about meeting your AI assistant. And now if I wanna launch out, I just click here 
and it loads up the full site just like that. The seventh new feature is the ability to separate pages and compact them a bit, especially when you're looking at Word for the web. I'm gonna to go to the view menu here, and by default, separate pages is turned on. So when I scroll down, I have these page breaks. And if there's a lot of page breaks, that's just extra scrolling. I'm gonna go back to the top here, and I'm gonna uncheck this box, separate pages. Now it compresses it and just removes all that extra space. So it makes it more compact and less scrolling for me when I'm reading this document on the web. To turn it back on, just click separate pages and everything goes back into place just as it was. And this will remember your choice over sessions. So if you always have it off, next time you come back, it'll always be there. The eighth new feature is Format Pater in Word for iPad. So I've got a document here. I'll select this text and in the upper left, there's a little paintbrush. Tap that, it says Format Copied. Now I'm gonna scroll down and select some other text right here, the sign here, and the little pop-up menu, I'll choose Paste Format. There we go, super easy. The ninth new feature is dark mode in Word for iPad. So I'm gonna to go to settings and we're gonna turn on dark mode, hit display and brightness and then dark. But now I'm gonna make my page in Word dark. Go back to Word and now go to the view menu, tap there and there's a switch background right there. Tap it, now everything is in dark mode on your page in Word. And you can untap that and turn it back and you'll have your light page back again. The 10th new feature is page borders in Word iPad. So on the layout menu, tap page borders and you have some options. We'll choose the dark one. Here's a medium option I'll tap, a lighter one. You can have just the sidebars or you can just have the top bars or you just say remove border and it goes away. The 11th new feature is auto cropping of pictures. So I'm gonna tap a picture of Bill Lumberg here and I'll choose crop. And there's a new option, auto crop, and it's gonna choose what's the best crop for me. In this case, I tap it, oh, it makes a little close-up square of Bill. He's looking really good. If I like that, I just tap away, and I've got my picture auto cropped. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel, and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.